Lombard here with the Sea Forager Hook to Cook Challenge. And this weekend, I'm, um, my challenge is to try to make something palatable out of surf perch. Now, some people, they love their deep-fried surf perch, pogies and rubber lips and all that. I've just never been on board with it, man. I, know I find the meat really mushy no matter what I do with it. Um, so, so the idea this weekend is to do ceviche. Okay, well, here's my slider rig. Um, you see that I'm using 10 pound braid, which is very thin, and you can really feel every bite. And I think that's kind of important with surf perch. And it's, I got those two big ugly beads on there, which are probably doing nothing, but they look good. Look good to me anyway. I don't know about the fish. Okay, so then we've got about a two and a half, maybe even a three foot leader. I got it on the cork here. Uh, the best bait that you can possibly get for surf perch is right out there. You don't have to go to a store for it. Well, first hook up of the day, Let's see what it is. It's a freaking striper. By how many freaking sand crabs right here? That, so I always just think that if you're in the area where there's sand crabs are like this, it's got to be where the fish are. Getting hit. There he is. Okay. Nice perch. We're gonna have good ceviche. Fish on. All right. I'm fighting these guys. Another one. It's kind of a crazy hookup. Oh, I see. Ooh, this guy. This guy's fighting harder. I don't know if he's bigger. Surf in on the wave. Ooh, spirits, look at that hook. <laughs> that hook is not even gonna make it to the bucket, I don't think. That's a good one. Oh, that's a honker. Oh, 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 oh. say that because he looks like he was going on a leap year yeah he just has that kind of leap year look about him uh -huh. oh i got a nice fighter here try to surf him right up on the wave and that'll be it for the day oh you know i think we got a big old red tail here maybe a striper i don't know what do i got i got a striper oh look at that <laughs> That is about a 16 inch striper. And unfortunately they gotta be 18 inches. All right, well that was a nice way to end the day. I'll set this guy free. Okay. Bye. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna do the hook to cook thing. And so I'm gonna fillet these out and then turn them into ceviche. That's the idea anyway. I got two fillet knives, see which one is best. And we'll start with one of these guys. Are they guys. dead? Are those dead? Yes, they're dead. We're going to continue uh, filleting. You know, if you were if you were uh, eating this whole, of course, you'd scale it and then gut it, pull the guts out, and pull the gills out. Is that guy going to have, does that guy look like he, um, he's going <laughs> to even eat him something? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he's got a full stomach, so uh, we'll see if there's some fish, uh, some sand crabs or something in there. So what I'm doing is I'm making that cut like that. You know, most of you know how to fillet a fish, but this is for people who don't, so. Um, and then you're just gonna cut along the backbone. The important thing is not to cut through it, because when you cut through the backbone, then it, it makes it really hard to, to do your fillet. So you see that nice, clean uh, cut there? Where's now, the belly? In, um, in, 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 the belly is in here, the, the, the tummy's in there, and I can see some partially digested sand crabs. Can I see? It's a little bit of a sand crab shell right there. 
Here's some more sand crab shells. Mmm, yummy, huh? Digested. Yeah, partially digested. Now look, here is where the ribs are. If you if you get close there, you can see that these are the ribs, and we're making ceviche. We don't want bones in it. So what I'm going to do is just um, basically I'm just cutting it out. I don't even need to shave it out. I just I'm just going to cut it out because um, I don't need that. More crab bait, and then uh, because I I cut it all the way down. Um, then we can just shave it right off the skin and you got a perfect little fillet and again the yield So you, that was the skin uh, The yield on a surf perch is pretty pretty slim, but we're making ceviche and that's what we need. We need fillets We don't need whole fish. Okay Now it's time to cut the eye out Okay, so we chopped up all the ceviche and that's a lot of man. That's a lot of surf perch meat and I'm just pushing it in here. I got it chopped up into the little pieces that I like. I mix in my cilantro and my green onions. It's very important that you have uh, blue paint on your hands to do this. Paint. Then uh, take your halved limes, put them in there like that. Do 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 lime juice in. Yeah, I guess the next shot will be uh, all of us eating. Surf perch ceviche. Okay, Kirk out. Voila! My surf perch ceviche, looking mighty good. Got my Tabasco, got my little mermaid. She's looking good too. Ready to uh, chow down on this. We added uh, avocado, that's the only thing that we added that, um, that wasn't in the original video. All right. Buon appetito!